Let's talk about lists. Now, lists are one of the most exciting and wonderful and uber helpful things inside of Dart. Most of the data that a lot of us web developers are utilizing are records, right? We get some database table and we say, can we have that? And either A, we get it ourselves, B, we convert it to some Ember weird data structure, or C, we get it some kind of JSON object and we parse it into a normal array. JavaScript does, right? It's an array, it's a list, we can play with it. But for the most part, every single project we're on has different things in those arrays. Sometimes there's arrays within arrays, right? So for example, if we have an array and we know there's a bunch of person objects in there, then we can actually define that. So a basic list looks like this, persons, and you do it like that, right? So you can add anything you want. Now it's not, they got rid of all the silly ECMA standard methods. Yes, that's right. They're a standard and they're silly. Okay. We have add, not push. You're not going in an array and pushing it. You're adding something to it. I mean, even Jesse Ward, master abuser of English, knows that that makes more sense, right? So you can add anything you want, just like normal JavaScript arrays. You can also add a string, right? So it's dynamic. It doesn't matter what you add, it'll add just fine. Okay. So that's fine. That's cool. But we can also encourage a little more specific API about what we're really adding to this array. So for example, we know that this is a list of individuals or people that are, their name is a string. We can say string. So if you're from Flash, this will look extremely familiar. It's a way of defining, in that case, a vector. In this case, this generic, as it were, is a list that only accepts string. Now it is variable length. We can make this array small or big. We don't have to define that ahead of time. You're welcome to do those for optimization purposes. The list will allow you to do that. So for example, if I say persons add uno, that's fine. If I run the application, doesn't matter. Okay, good to go. Additionally, I can also go persons dot add dose. Notice I added a number. Before I even run, Dart will look at it and say, hey, you can't add a number to that particular list it or array. It wants a string, right? So I can't even do that It'll before I even run. Now I can run it if I wanted to. And keep in mind, if you're already in a bug session, you just refresh the browser. You don't have to hit play, but you can hit F5, whatever your keyboard is. But again, it's not going to work. It doesn't like that. You can't do that, okay? So it helps clearly define the API. Even something as simple as an array, you can do data types.